how you can use this tag UI file. So first is you have to type in the command tag UI followed by the file name and then followed by the data to draw it from. This data.csv is a data file. Let me just bring it up. So it basically contains some of the first part of the variable to tell you to do this is the variable name and the variable name is actually a short form of what is the data that is drawing out from so you run line by line looking at all these various information that is required so this is the data file so you'll go to this URL uh, and then you will try to do the rest of the stuff from the data file to run the file I will just click enter then it launches its own browser Let me try to bring it side by side. So it navigates to the ChatGPT and then it tries to ask the question. So in this part of the video, you will see that it is actually looking at this. Let me see where is the file. Okay, so now it has gotten and is typing in the question. Okay, and in this question, it will then end off by saying, I expect the answer to be a integer number because that is what I expect to use in the tagging of the SLS learning objectives. So it's crawling, it's typing in all the information on its own because of the information from the question in question 8 so I, I start the loop starting from 8 and then it goes through the loop for n and then it will click through all the rest so you click on the button and then 108 is the answer gets spin up by ChatGPT. then I do a series of checks then I wait 10 seconds because sometimes the web page needs to be available for the RPA to recognize it then it will save it and then it eventually clicks through all the you can see all the arrow heads it will basically try to expand out all the content map with all the learning objectives so that in the end I can click on the correct checkboxes <coughs> because in this learning objective in my data I already have 236 of them okay so the the RPA can only work if there is 236 of such checkboxes of which then need to be expanded because if you don't expand then SLS cannot show you the correct number in the index of the, the three checkbox so I'm clicking on the 108 so if you look at 108 checkbox 108 108 is LO10I describe practical examples of them oscillation let me go back to so describe practical examples of them also so indeed it has managed to tag on the Cora LO uh, then basically what, what I'm saying is it's assuming that ChatGPT has managed to give me the correct answer how to prepare the ChatGPT data you need to go to this OpenAI web page and then you have to invoke the chat history so in this chat history I pre-trained I tell it that this is the name of the file at first it's confused which obviously anybody would be then later on I key in all the data sets so 5 the checkbox number 5 box. if it's 5 then you will check on this learning objectives so for 108 here is over here 108 so in other words I have fed ChatGPT uh, with the information and then okay again it is trying to understand what I want it to do then I inject a prompt to say that given a question, for example, and then what is the best number to describe this learn objective? And then I want it to respond with only one number. Okay. So in this particular chat, I'm only expecting ChatGPT to come up with a number. And ChatGPT can understand the prompt with the earlier data set. It is able to give me a number sensibly, a number that makes sense. So then you uh, proceed on with the RPA to crawl the information in the question box and then pass it to ChatGPT to come up with a number 
with this number it corresponds to a certain checkbox in SLS of which I need to open up the entire content map LO3 map and to, in, to, to review the rest corresponding correct checkboxes and therefore it is able to check on the correct boxes so this is the, the strategy that is being used because in the pre map if the content map has been previously filled up by an officer then the checkbox order may, will be affected therefore it reduces the accuracy of the tagging so the recommended use is to start tagging using a fresh content map then it will be a blank content map of which then the the ordering will be then uh, correctly determined by the ChatGPT. so i'm going to click zero for no uh, one if you want a 60 second delay to make the corrections and the edits so i'm going to put zero here and then ChatGPT will continue i'm going to close this now it's moving on to the next question question nine okay and then you will try to navigate to the correct preview example of this okay the correct um conversation chat history and then it will try to type in because i have disturbed it so it messes up on the typing but let's see whether ChatGPT can still make sense of the partially complete question type so the question is to determine oscillation and remember that pictures and figures are not included so ChatGPT will only be able to understand the context through the words which then is limited so usually it is recommended that the proper usage of this be a hybrid where you also use AI to do some of the heavy lifting but you also need a human to check that the answer is logical which is why I, in, I, I designed the ask prompt in order for the user to decide whether he or she wants to add on so okay 68 is the answer okay it waits for 10 seconds Usually, it's quite common to wait because some of this requires the web page to be up. Okay, so again, it will open up all the content map tree by clicking on it automatically. Sixty-eight. So. Has ChatGPT managed to correctly identify this? So let's look at the 6B, 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 68. So yes, the answer here is 68, and it is the correct LO. So I will proceed to press either one, then I'll take a 60 second time to uh, additionally check on other stuff that I think is related to this question. Okay, and then wait for it to be ready and then it will continue with the rest of the room. So with this, I think it gives you a very good sense of how you can harness Tech UI with uh, ChatGPT to come up with a very good solution to go to SLS, log in, okay, and then go to the correct URL, and then you will iterate through all the 40 questions in SLS, open up the ChatGPT URL and then do a series of things to extract and type in information and then read whatever that ChatGPT has uh, responded to. Then if the length of the response is let's say not a number from 0 to 999 then I will tell it again through another uh, input in order for ChatGPT to give the correct answer. Then if, if, it's, if it is a number of this lesser than this length then I will close it. And then it continues to go to back to SLS and then click on the different question type and then do a series of opening using the arrow to open in reverse order because if you open in the ascending order it messes up the orders again so you need to do a descending order that means from bottom click all the way up okay and then uh, it should be quite okay after this then it's close and safe okay that's it for the video